Hey everybody, welcome back. I know that everybody is constantly wanting to update their Quest 3 or Quest 2 headsets, even the MetaQuest Pro for that matter, and every time there's a new update, most of us get lagged behind, and we don't even get some of these new updates till two or three updates later. I am just now getting on version 66, when it looks like there is a version 68 about to come up, but now we can finally push these updates to our headset almost as soon as they're available with this new software update tool. So definitely check out the links down in the description below because this is where you're going to find this web page. But basically, you just click the link and it's going to give you this website that's right in front of you. Uh, you then pretty much select your headset, whether it's the Quest 2, 3, or Pro. Uh, it says, please assure that you have two gigabytes of available storage on this computer and the USB-C cable that came with your device that is ready. Uh, so basically, you're going to need that cable to uh, update your headset. So we're going to try this together here. Uh, basically, I'm running a Quest 3, so we're going to click the Quest 3. It says, back up your data, uh, which you can choose to do so if you wish. Uh, I don't really have too much data on mine other than downloading games, which is all saved onto your account, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. But it says, power off your device, and you basically just power off your device by holding your power button on the left side of the headset. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click continue here. It says load the boot screen. All right, so this next part here is definitely going to be a little bit hard to show you, but basically uh, you need to load the boot screen onto your uh, Quest headset. Uh, you do that by pressing and holding the power button and the volume down button at the same time. Uh, it does take a little while to boot up that boot screen, uh, but when it does, inside your headset, you're going to see a screen that looks very similar to this. Uh, then, basically, it's going to ask you to sideload the update. Uh, basically, you can use the volume buttons to navigate and select that sideload update. Now, once you hit that sideload update, your screen is basically going to go black, and then you can take off your headset, and your headset uh, is actually going to have a little purple light on it where the power usually is that's green. Uh, so once you have that little purple button, it means you are in the update mode, which is exactly what you want. Uh, so you want to go ahead then and connect your your headset to your computer and you're going to hear a little sound and basically that's going to let you know that your headset is connected to your actual device uh, then you can go ahead and connect device on the screen and a little box is going to show up that says quest 3 you want to or whatever your headset is you just want to hit quest 3 or whatever your device is make sure it's selected and then hit connect uh, basically, then on your screen, it'll say ready for download. You go ahead and click start download and bada bing, bada boom. You just give it a few seconds here and your download will complete. Once your download is completed here, the ready to install screen will pop up. Just make you sure that you hit install software. It'll go ahead with that process. Now, this may take just a few minutes here, depending, you know, how fast your connection is and all that. Usually, it's fairly quick, but once again, you just want to wait till it gets to 100%. Once everything is finished, you will get a screen that says update successful. It will reboot your actual device itself. So, let's go ahead and hop into the headset and see what update we are on now. All right, now that we're back into the headset here, basically you just want to open up your menu bar. We're going to go to quick settings in the bottom left corner. Then we're going to go to settings in the top right. You want to go over to system, and then you want to scroll down here to software updates. It says software is updated, no updates available. But if you scroll down, you can see your version right here, which we have upgraded from 66 to 67. So it has been successful. Does not look like 68 is out yet to the public. But once it is and you find out that it is, you can most definitely update that as soon as you can instead of waiting for it. I think this is a great little tool to have and it really pushes things along. I never understood why Meta takes so long to get the updates to everybody's headsets, but now you can do it as soon as it's ready 
for download on that software update or tool. So if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.